I'm Raven, and welcome back to Galactica. In this video we're going to continue working on the hangar pods. We're going to be bringing them through all the way to final assembly. Let's get on with it. Before I begin, just forgive me for the quality of the audio. I'm still figuring out the microphone setup for this, uh, with, with the new overhead camera and what have you. But, with no further ado, let us continue. The hangar pod bases are ready. There's nothing more to be done there. However, before we can do the insides of these, a little bit of work does need to be done just to remove these pegs. Once we've done that, we can mask the whole thing off, prime it, spray it, and assemble it. All without colouring the outside. For these internals, it should just be a case of taking my scalpel and cutting out the remains of the peg. If necessary, I shall get my little files out, because it is a little awkward to get the scalpel in there. Mm. Let's chop it up a little bit. Now I've done that, I'm going to take my round-backed file and just get rid of that. There we go. And I just need to do that for the other three pins. Our next stage is to start masking. We pretty much first need to find the right side for the right side, which is this one. We want to mask off the bit where the plastic needs to stick together and leave the rest exposed for paint, which pretty much by looking at it is going to be everywhere outside of this smooth bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape. As ever, this is Tamiya masking tape. And even coming up to the edge here, hmm, that's a, that's a good point. Because there is going to be a section here where it's going to need to be able to, to overlap with that entrance where the paint's going to be very thin. So I would wager that we need to put a bit of a taper on this mask. So, we're going to put it very thinly on the edge and then bring it in like so. My pieces are taped up and ready for spraying. And through the magic of the clock wipe, it'll take but a few moments. There we go, all sprayed up. In time on a tradition, the paint didn't quite uh, stick very well. The uh, main reason why I've been so delayed on these uh, Galactica videos is the weather's just not good for spraying. And it's, uh, got so, it was very, very splotchy, so I had to come and sand it down. And it's not perfect, 
but thankfully this is going to be inside the hanger so you're not really going to be able to see it. So once this is dried solid we can uh, put the decals in, put the LEDs onto the roof and bring them together. Okay, so in hindsight I could have actually sprayed these before assembling the lights and the pods but hey, it's neither here nor there at this stage. So, we've got three things we need to do here now. I'm going to take my scalpel and scrape off a little bit of the paint around this edge here to ensure we get a nice glue. We're going to need to put our landing strip decals down on these two pieces. And then we're going to need to mount the LEDs. Now, with the LEDs, we were of course uh, very sensible and surrounded them with this masking tape. But it is time for that tape to come off. As planned, the LED tape will have a little bit of very thin foam tape along the top holding it in place, but naturally that doesn't exactly look great, does it? So, what I'm going to do is essentially each of these LEDs is exposed and we need to cover them over and spray this whole strip with the same colour as the ceiling. So we should end up with just these six little spotlights on the roof. The danger here being that if I don't cover these LEDs well enough it will destroy them. The paint will just utterly wreck them. So we have to be extremely careful. Okay, I've got my good old rubber mask and I'm just going to get my brush nice and loaded up and we're just going to apply a nice daub to the top. You want to have enough there that we're going to be able to remove it afterward and that it covers the square nicely because ideally I want to have nice square spotlights on the ceiling. It'll also help it to grip by getting the most surface area. Much easier than trying to cut out small pieces of uh, masking tape. Typically the only risk here is if one of the pads gets scraped off accidentally through manual handling. There we go. We're already ready to spray. Alright, those are all sprayed up and as you can see they're going to blend in nice and flush when they're on there. First things first though, we need to make sure that they have survived the process. So we're just going to carefully remove the plastic film. Yeah, Alright, here comes the important test. I haven't done this, this is live brand on screen. Alright, all the LEDs are on. And we are good, whoa, I'm sorry, I'm just blinding you there, aren't I? I do apologize. And we are good to go. Let's get the tape. But that's going to do it for this episode. Next time, we'll be carrying on. As if no time had passed at all between the filming of those two pieces. <laughs> I'm Raven, and that's all from Galactica.